This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Paris Hilton, out of jail. People are foaming at the mouth about this. Foaming at the mouth. I've rarely seen people this angry. It's like a lynch mob out there. I'm going to give you guys something productive to do. Since Sheriff Lee Baca's office is responsible for this, and as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure you feel the way I do, uh, we haven't really received a fair explanation. An explanation that uh, would make us feel good about this. Maybe we need to call uh, Sheriff Baca's office and uh, ask him uh, what the dealio is. That? Maybe we need to call Sheriff Lee Baca's office. And I've got his number right here. If you're in your car, how about you just direct your cell phone to this number right now? Let's blow out the phones, folks. 213-526-5000. Again, it's 213-526-5000. All right. Let's call his office right now. There's an hour to go in the business day here in Los Angeles. And let's demand an explanation, since we're really not getting one here. Especially if you are a constituent in Los Angeles County, as I am. We should all dial 213-526-5000, and then uh, let me know what happens when you call. Give me a full report. 213-526-5000 213-526-5000 for Sheriff Lee Baca's office. He also has an email address, web email, no hyphens, no spaces, web email at lasd.org. Web email at lasd.org. So email him, call him. Sure, Dean, you call him too. Absolutely, you're a constituent. Not that you've ever seen the inside of a voting booth, but you're a constituent. So go right ahead. <laughs> call the office. <laughs> That's right, two one three five two six five thousand. Let's go to your calls here. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's Barry. Hello. Tom ah! <laughs> Barry. <laughs> driving me crazy. I'm forming a new organization called Ape Salt, Actors Against pa- uh, Paris Hilton, Tom Sizemore, and Lindsay Lohan types. Stop buying their stuff. Ah! Thank you for that. Dean thought that was a strong call. He's an actor. He's <laughs> oh, you mean there was more good material there, Dean? I didn't know. I think he buried <laughs> He buried the lead? All right. Uh, this is Jade on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you today? And I do care. Pissed off like most people. I'm foaming like a rabid dog right here. I'll um, bet. Hey, I know what her medical problem was, Tom. What's that? They ran a monostat at the jail. That's the only thing that could be wrong with that little, you know, one. I can't see on the radio. Don't yell at me, I know. Um, <laughs> how'd you like that one? Um, I definitely um, am upset about this because I have a friend who was in recovery for a few years. He cleaned up his life, had a couple of tragedies, did the same thing that Ms. Hilton did, and now he's getting two and a half to five. And I believe that if he was a, a rich female, he would not be treated as harshly. I definitely think there's a disparity in the legal system. Um, if you're willing to do the crime, you do the time, male or female. You know, I definitely think that the whole celebrity status has a lot to do with it. In our country, we look at celebrities as being above human, above par, and so we treat them like uh, they're, they're amazing. You know, well, we, you know, we see all these public service announcements about drunk driving. 
And here in Los Angeles, we've got various checkpoints that are up and all these warnings wagging their finger about, we're up, we're coming to get you. We're looking for you. We're oh. coming to get you. But guess what? They're coming to get poor people and middle class people who can't afford to defend themselves. That's who they're coming to get. I wish that she was in Phoenix with Arpaio, man, because she would definitely uh, have a harder time. There's no tolerance law here in Phoenix. And um, I think it's making some changes from the fast. She's but, talking uh, about Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County. People think he's a Nazi, but I definitely think that he's got a lot more brains than this other dude that you're talking about. Well, um, Lee Baca, for people who care, has been the sheriff of L.A. County. Get this. He was deputy sheriff going back to August 23, 1965. His current term ends in 2010. He's been the sheriff now since 1998. It's a joke. And it shows the world that if you're rich and if you're blonde and female, that you can get away with anything. She could have murdered someone the first time. You know, now you're letting her get away with this again. So her life is worth more than mine. Apparently, that's what this country and that's what this that state and city, that's what they're telling the world. Well, that's right. Drunk, that's driving, right. drunk driving is wrong if you're yes. poor or middle class. That's what they're saying. Think, yes, exactly. It's only wrong if you don't fit a certain profile. But if you're a spoiled little brat, it's okay if you do anything. And that's why these girls like Paris, Lindsay, will, you know, Nicole Richie will never get clean and sober because they were never taught any humility. And that's the thing. Their life is... is Paris, Hilton needed, Paris Hilton needed 45 days in jail. Yeah, she needed a nice little girlfriend to sell with her, too. <laughs> I'd pay to watch that, Tom. I'm sure you would with me. <laughs> I'm sure that would be on YouTube in seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Dad. Hello, son. How's it going, Dad? Great, son. You're a big idol of mine. It's an honor to speak to you. Thank you. Um, I just have a question for you, if I may. Yes. Um, you're always talking about how you use your money, power, and your fame, and your advantage, whether it's to get into a restaurant where the average man can't get into, or to get into the panties of a woman, right? Yep. Are you telling me that if you were thrown in jail and you had the power to get yourself out, whether it's through politics, money, or whatever. You no, you nowhere in here have I blamed Paris Hilton. I, I, have, I have not blamed Paris Hilton. Exactly. So it's not really Paris Hilton. or I, I, have Paris, I have not blamed Paris I have not blamed Paris Hilton. everybody's coming down on it. No, I'm, I'm coming after Sheriff Lee Baca. That's who I'm coming after. Okay, you want then let me add something to this. I got a DUI uh, when I was 20 years old. My blood alcohol was point zero three. Okay, my court case was dismissed, and I still have the DUI on my record for ten years. Okay. Well, Paris Hilton will have it on her record too, but uh, Paris Hilton is uh, serving uh, really, uh, in essence, five days. They're saying five days. She spent three days in jail. It counts as five days, and that's it. Absolutely, but you see, she was also convicted of the crime that she committed. I wasn't. And I still have to pay for the crime that I wasn't convicted of. That's, that's outrageous. The thing is that, you know, it, it, any, anybody who has the power is going to do these kind of things. And there's always politics involved. And, of course, there's, I'm sure her parents have so much money and they probably donate something or pay somebody under the table to get, get her out. You know, there's, there's always a lot of other things involved than we just see in the media. I'm sure she didn't have any kind of medical problem with all the partying she does. But I don't think that she's to blame. I don't think that, you know... Lindsay nobody Wall, here, is, bla nobody here off, is blaming them. You know? that, well, the people we are blaming are the people who let them get away with these things. I mean, the fact is, Paris Hilton did drive drunk and was convicted. Then Paris Hilton went and drove with a suspended license and then claimed she didn't know she wasn't supposed to drive. How stupid can one be? Right. right. Uh, but the bottom line here is that despite all of that, uh, it's the fault of uh, the sheriff's office that let her out of jail. That's that's where the fault lies here. Oh, absolutely. You know, and it's, it's it's so stupid how much time the media spends on one little billionaire heiress, where there's all kinds of other issues like global warming or you know the war in Iraq. Those things don't get ratings. That's the bottom line, Jason. It's something we talk about all the time. They don't get ratings. This does. That's the bottom line. That's how it works.
If you hear a commercial or see a commercial, it's an ad-supported medium. Ratings are everything, and they're going to put the stories on that get people to watch. It's the way it works. Sheriff Lee Bacchus' office, by the way, if it's busy, keep trying, and I know it is busy. 213-526-5000 is the number. Just tell them you want to know why Paris Hilton's out of jail. Why? You want the explanation. And an undisclosed medical condition, do not accept that as the answer. Tell them that you want a better explanation than that. Uh, what, what medical condition could somebody have that is worse than the medical conditions we hear about in jails all the time? Tuberculosis? Hepatitis C? Staph infections? HIV? What could Paris Hilton have that's worse than all of that? Come on! Call Sheriff Lee Baca's office, wherever you are around the world. If you've got a telephone, you can call 213-526-5000. And keep them busy over there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. More of your telephone calls coming up. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. How you doing today, my man? Do you care? I care so much, my wife thinks I need therapy. This is the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. All right, uh, we had an out-of-date area code on that phone number for Sheriff Lee Baca. Many of you figured it out, but uh, let me give it to you. The number was correct. The area code was wrong. It's 323-526-5000. 323-526-5000. Phone lines are already jamming up, but uh, let's keep the pressure on, folks. Let's get an answer. Why is Paris Hilton out of jail? Why did Sheriff Lee Baca sign off on this? 323-526-5000. Don't take no for an answer. Don't take she has an undisclosed medical condition for an answer. Keep pushing. Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Well, I just wanted to call. Um, I called Sheriff Lee Baca's office right now and spoke with the secretary at the office and asked them when they uh, let convicted uh, DUIs out. And the secretary said she'd make no comment. And I, I thought that was very wrong of her, especially, um, you know, for a convicted GUI or convicted um, rapist or anything, you know, to mm -hmm. let people back out in society like this. It's crazy. It um, is crazy. And uh, I just wanted to say, you know, long, uh, not that long time of a listener, but I appreciate everything that you say and, um, you know, respect everything that you do. And uh, could you take me out, Kobe style? Of course I can. Here you go. Thank you. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Patrick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, oh, Tom. How you doing, Father? Great, son. Uh, I, I believe she was let out because of overcrowding in the jailhouse system. You know, I've had a buddy of mine who got excessive DUIs in a short period of well, time. Well, if that's the case, why, to... wait, 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 wait. If that's the case, right. why did they say it was a medical reason? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. I was just listening to the radio. I haven't heard anything. Well, that's what they said. Reason. It's an undisclosed medical condition. Really? Now, I'd like to know, with all the people in jail who have tuberculosis, hepatitis C, HIV, staph infections, and full-blown AIDS, I'd like to know what Paris Hilton could possibly have that's right. worse than all of that. Right, right. I totally agree. I mean, I didn't know it was a medical condition. I just figured, because I had a buddy of mine who was let out. He served 18 hours on a 30-day period for excessive DUIs, and it was surely because of the overcrowding. I had no idea it was a medical condition. I haven't even heard that yet. Well, I might want to uh, crack yeah. open a newspaper or some such. By the way, uh, of course, who has a comment on this? <laughs> Why, it's Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County. We have many listeners uh, who live in the Valley of the Sun. You Maricopa County listeners, Phoenix area, 
Listen to this. This is from the Arizona Republic. It did not appear in the paper today because it appeared on their website as the day went on, but it's from the Arizona Republic website, and I imagine it'll be in the paper tomorrow. This says here, to the surprise of pretty much no one, Paris Hilton has made an early exit from the big house in favor of her own big house. Her newest fashion accessory is an electronic monitoring anklet, having swapped an expected sentence of 23 days in jail for 40 days of home confinement. It's a pretty nifty deal her attorneys finagled for her on account of an unspecified medical problem. It wouldn't have happened here, said Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. I think it's disgusting, Arpaio said. I've got 10,000 people in the tent. You know about that tent city they have in Phoenix? Yeah, they got prisoners in tents. Forget jail. They have tents out of the heat of Arizona. You, you've heard about it. If you live in the Valley of the Sun, you've, you've seen it. He says they've all got medical conditions. The uh, columnist here writes, it's unclear what Hilton suffers from, but she's headed home. Could be cabin fever, a severe allergy to jail, perhaps. Whatever it is, she's done with jail. Arizona inmates likely wouldn't have that luxury, said J.W. Brown, a spokesperson for the Maricopa County Superior Court. Brown said inmates have access to health care, whether they need treatment for physical or mental ailments. Brown said if you're sick, they can take you to the county hospital where there's a lockdown. If there's an emergency, they'll take you right to the hospital and then take you back to jail. There's ways to get help and serve your time. Brown said it's hard to say exactly what went on behind the scenes of the Hilton case because each state is different. Arpaio pointed to Robert Daniels, a man confined to a room at Maricopa County Medical Center, sick with tuberculosis, but not convicted of a crime. Hilton was serving time for violating prohibition, I'm sorry, probation on an alcohol-related reckless driving case. She began serving her sentence on Sunday and was housed in the special needs unit of the Century Regional Detention Facility. The unit is used for police officers, public officials, celebrities, and other high-profile inmates. She bunked alone. Hilton was sentenced to 45 days, but was expected to be released after 23 for good behavior. Now she's going home with some Mickey Mouse bracelet, Arpaio said. That never would have happened here. He said Hilton's time, had it been served in Arizona, would have been different. If Hilton had served her sentence in Tent City, she would have stayed in the steamy tents with the rest of the inmates, Arpaio said. Past Maricopa County high-profile inmates such as Glenn Campbell, Mike Tyson, and U.S. Airways CEO Doug Parker serve their time separated from the general population. But Arpaio said that was for their own protection. He said he normally doesn't put celebrities in the tents, but Hilton would have been an exception. She would have eaten bologna with the rest of them, and she wouldn't have been released from jail early for house arrest. This is Arpaio speaking now. He said, I am totally against bracelets. I think it's a cop-out. I'd love to stay in her mansion. Hilton may not have to technically even stay in her mansion for the entire time. My gosh, Deputy Chief with adult probation for Maricopa County Superior Court said inmates released on electronic supervision need to stay within the perimeter of their house. If they don't, a signal is sent to a computer that tells probation officials the inmate is not following the rules. Even if she's watched, Arpaio said he isn't happy with how Hilton is serving her time. He said it sends a bad message. I don't think this is right, he said. I'm not going to blame anybody. I knew this was going to happen. Wow, wow, wow. Do we have uh, Steve Futterman on the line here? Good. Let's get him on here. CBS News uh, radio reporter Steve Futterman. Uh, has been with us many, many, many times over the years. And uh, what's going on, Steve? Hey, Tom, how are you? Doing okay. Uh, they, they've promoted me to a correspondent now, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, You're a yeah. correspondent. What's the difference between a correspondent and a reporter? It's, it's harder to spell. Oh, I see. Yeah. And they give you like a phone card or something so you no, can correspond? No, or... no. Okay. Sounds better. It's more prestigious, they tell me. I see. Got it. All right, correspondent Steve Futterman. Yeah, well, I like that. Corresponding with me right now. Yeah. So correspond with us here. Uh, what, what exactly is going on, Steve? <laughs> Lots of fallout, I'll say that. Uh, th this has brought uh, both sides of the political spectrum, I think, together. A rare, a rare accomplishment. And uh, at the moment, you know, this is just a few hours after it's happened, uh, the sheriff in Los Angeles County, Lee Baca, has been able to do something that few people are able to do, bring everyone together. Because uh, I've not really heard anyone, with the rare exception, I mean, Paris Hilton's attorney, I'm sure, is very pleased. But for the most part, everyone I've spoken to seems to be just outraged by all this. 
Uh, of course, how much of this is posturing, like Rocky Delgadillo, the city attorney for Los Angeles, uh, talking about he wasn't consulted and blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, blah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he's supposed to be consulted. But I'll tell you, these guys usually don't go after each other. It is a pretty strong statement, and I like Delgadillo's line. He says, had we been provided with the proper notification, we would have opposed the decision on legal grounds. The judge, I was in the courtroom when she was sentenced. The judge specifically said he wanted wanted her to go to county jail, not one of these pay uh, city jails. They call those glamour slammers. He didn't want her to be on a work furlough. He used these specific words. He didn't want any home detention. These were specific words. And what's happening now? She's in home detention. I think, Tom, one of the things that may bother the people who are bothered by all this, I think one of the things that may bother them is on Sunday night, we saw her. She looked as healthy as anyone can look uh, on the red carpet at the MTV Music Awards. Lo- looked very healthy there. Now, obviously, if you have mental distress, uh, you can hide that sometimes. And maybe the mental distress, if that's what is this medical condition, occurred after she went to jail. But, uh, you know, the people I've spoken to uh, who are skeptics say, you know, it's, it's not uh, – everyone gets nervous when they go to jail, especially if they've never been there before, especially if they come from a privileged background. This is to be expected. Well, isn't that the point of sending somebody to jail? Well, it's I supposed mean, to be scary, very scary, and you get very serious. I mean, isn't that, that what – the movie scare, – the, the TV show Scared Straight? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Isn't that the idea? You're saying, here's somebody who thinks she can do whatever she wants. Aren't we supposed to scare her into submission, yeah. into not doing this again? You, you hope she gets scared. But uh, we were talking about this on the air earlier. When you look at some of the medical problems people have in jails, tuberculosis, hepatitis C, HIV, AIDS, uh, and and not to mention all the various mental uh, conditions people have, what could she possibly have that's worse than all of that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I think there is some monetary factor. I'm speaking off the top of my head, so I'm not 100% sure I'm correct. I believe if you agree to take part in these home detention programs, you must pay for that uh, uh, program. It, it's not very cheap, but obviously she can afford it. So there may be a monetary factor here where maybe some poorer inmates who might be eligible for a home detention situation under uh, uh, for medical reasons might not be able to afford that. And, of course, another question that comes to mind, there are doctors to treat people who are in jail. There is actually a jail portion at the county uh, medical center, I believe. Uh, that these things happen. I mean, inmates get ill. Inmates get very ill sometimes. And, uh, you know, they, they don't always get released. Well, some enterprising correspondent ought to go take a look at the uh, websites for these uh, political contributions. I mean, now aren't they supposed to be releasing that information yeah. to the public when people contribute? I'd like to see which attorneys have contributed to the Lee Baca campaign of the past or possibly of the future. I'd like to see uh, which heiresses. 2000, 2010 is when he's up for re-election, so yes. a long ways away. And, uh, boy, I mean, you can already see the... Uh, the campaign slogan, I would not release Paris Hilton. Vote for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm really hoping he runs again because I really think this could be a very interesting campaign. I'm looking at it as a reporter who likes a good story. This could be, uh, we, we may never have seen a sheriff's campaign in this country covered like we might see this uh, well, campaign. It's three years away, know, Steve. And can happen. You know how it works. Yeah. Uh, people have memories that go back, uh, I think, to yesterday, and that's about it. So I think by the time. What do you it- think of all this? I think it's outrageous, and I think the average person listening, uh, the average person who works for a living, mm-hmm. uh, if they had gotten a DUI and they were convicted, and then they went out driving without a license, and they got Twice. pulled over, Twice. and they got caught, uh, they, 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 they should ask for the Paris Hilton treatment, but they damn well wouldn't get it. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't get it. Well, this guy, I have been told, the attorney she has right now, I forget his name, uh, I was told yesterday, before this all happened, I spoke to a colleague of mine who said, this guy is the best for this particular type of situation, the DUI uh, uh, cases. He is uh, considered just the the best uh, attorney out there. I bet he is. I'll bet he is. I bet he has lots of business all, now, huh? All I know is I didn't know where Paris lived until I walked out my front door today and was confronted by helicopters. Were you there? I was up there. Where, I don't live far. I don't live far from there, apparently. I haven't. You haven't been to your. You're in a different place than the last time I visited you. Uh but yeah, I live uh, a different place. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we were right up there. Uh, uh, we had the TV camera. It was tough for the TV crews. They couldn't all get up there, so some of them were doing their stand-ups on. Sunset Boulevard. That was the big, uh, big thing today. And by the way, I believe, although the 
highbrow, you know, our hourly our network newscasts uh, on the evening, you know, CBS, ABC, NBC. I believe all of the evening news tonight uh, will have a Paris Hilton story, even though that's normally considered sort of a tabloid story. The fact that she's been released so early has raised, you know, important issues. Uh, well, no, there, what, it, what it's going to do is it's going to give it's going to give the serious shows like the Situation Room an excuse to put Paris Hilton on and get some ratings for a change. That's what it's going to do. Well, I'm talking about the regular evening news on ABC, NBC, CBS. I think they're all doing uh, uh, ca- uh, pieces on uh, the Paris Hilton. Oh, I'm case. sure they are because any time they can get away from talking about Iraq no, or the other downer no, stories, no, Tom, they, Tom. that's what they do. No, in this case, this is a legitimate news story, uh, especially when you have the questions which often come up are. There are two tiers of justice. So, I mean, there's a, a very serious question to be asked here, and I, I think it's... it's uh, but no, pre- and by the way, no one's going to answer it. Has Lee Baca said anything today? Well, no. Apparently he canceled a couple of appearances. That will be a great news conference. Let me give you some previews of uh, potential coming attractions. The first Lee Baca news conference, that should be good. Also, he may be called before the Board of Supervisors. They are technically, I guess, his boss. And apparently all of them, on the left, on the right, in the center, they are all annoyed at this. They are, like I said, he has brought Southern California together. Remember O.J. tore everyone apart? Lee yes. Baca. Lee Baca has brought Southern California together, it seems. Well, finally, uh, Rodney King got his wish. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right, Steve, uh, we're going to check in with you again uh, when there's more uh, to talk about here. Yeah, and, uh, I, I think uh, my guess is, you know, we never know how these stories are going to go. I think this story, uh, the old line, has legs. I think this is a story that uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, uh, questions being asked, including uh, Delga Deal brought up uh, an issue. He's looking into other things he can do, which he doesn't say it, but, I mean, that sort of implies, is there a way to overturn this decision and put Paris Hilton back in jail? I don't know what the answer to that. Uh, my there may guess be is, no way to do that. I don't know. My guess is everybody's going to try to posture and uh, get uh, TV cameras to cover them. They're going to release statements about, oh, this is horrible, this is terrible, and we're doing everything we can, and what's going to end up is nothing. It's going to stay the way it is, and everyone's going to say how angry they were, but they couldn't do anything about it, but it's not going to stop everybody from releasing well. press releases and having press conferences and having photo ops with people like you. They're going to be out there doing interviews and shaking their fist to the camera. And uh, nothing is going to happen. Well, Tom, you know that. So I'm not saying uh, there aren't people out there who like to posture and like to get the FaceTime. Of course they do. But I think lots of people I like Doga Deal. I mean, I, I think he has not hold, held a news conference yet. He issued a statement. He didn't run in front of the cameras, as far as I'm aware. So, I mean, I don't think he's... Uh, trying to posture. He did issue a tough statement. Yeah, well, who did he issue it to? TMZ.com. No, no, no. Uh, I don't think that's correct. I could be wrong. Harvey TM, TMZ claimed it. They, they claimed that it was released to them. Well, it was released to them, yes, but it was also released to a lot of other people. It uh-huh. didn't say exclusively, did they? I have to go back and look. Yeah, I think, they, I think when TMZ says, given to us, they sort of try to make it imply oh. that it was given just to them. So they're kind of fudging. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, it was given to them, and it was given to uh, other people, and, uh, you know, lots of people. Interesting. So. All right, Steve, thank you so much. Take care, Tom. We'll talk again soon. That's CBS News correspondent, Steve Futterman, with the latest on the Paris Hilton story. More of your telephone calls coming up. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Dumb Likas. If I tell you I'm Dr. Likas and you believe me and you have sex with me because you think I'm a doctor, well, tough luck if you find out later I'm not a doctor. Tough, you effing gold digger. Tough on you. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, Sheriff Lee Baca's office, we're bombarding their phone lines at 323-526-5000. Why did Lee Baca let Paris Hilton out of jail? Why? And an undisclosed medical condition is not an acceptable answer. Because then the next question is, why couldn't the... The health department people who uh, work with the jail system in Los Angeles have taken care of whatever medical problems she had. They do it for everybody else. Three two three five two six five thousand for Sheriff Lee Baca. And if you do, uh, <laughs> if you do get an answer from somebody, do call me and tell me. 
what happened. By the way, somebody gave you a more direct email address for Lee Baca, and I'm giving it out because he's a public servant, and I expect to be served. Here is Lee Baca's personal email address. I'm giving it out to you right now. I'm giving it to you. If this is a private company, we would not interfere with the business practices of that company. We would not interfere with business. But uh, this is the county of Los Angeles. We're taxpayers. We're paying for this email address. So, God damn it, we're going to use it. LDBACA at LASD.org. That's his email address. L-D-B-A-C-A. L-D-B-A-C-A. No spaces. L-D-B-A-C-A at LASD.org. I'll give it out again before the end of the hour, but if you can't get through on the phone, send them an email, and you want a specific answer. Don't take any form letters. Don't take any press releases or statements. You want an answer. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Mariana. Hello. Uh, Tom, I got through to Baca's office. I left a message with the clerk, and I let her know that by Baca's actions today, it makes it seem that the laws regarding drunk driving only apply to the poor and the middle class and also the brown and the black. If you're white or wealthy, the laws don't apply to you. Of course, mm-hmm. she had no comment, but she said that she'd relay the message. And I'm going to email him with that email that you just gave. Yes. L- and also L- L- that Baca. That ankle bracelet, it's not free. It's about $230 a day because I have some friends that wore that, and it, it's expensive. So even if other people have that option, most of us can't afford that. Right. Um, and... Um, well, it's outrageous. And yeah, and I also let her know that I've, I've voted for Baca at least on three elections that I can recall because I live in the county area. And I vote, voted him for, for Baca three times, and I also let her know that I'll remember that during election time. By the way, he only ran three times. You voted for him every time he ran. Yeah, I have because the county sheriffs, are, they're, my, they're my law enforcement people where I live. It's but, outrageous. Um, through. Oh, I'm glad you did. By the way, that email address again is LD, LD, like Larry David, LD Baca, LD B A C A, LD Baca at LASD dot ORG. Yeah, I got it. I'll use it. Good. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Mariana. Appreciate the call. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. This is Marie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I am a probation officer here in Arizona, and I just wanted to tell everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, but justice isn't equal. It's, you know, the more money you have, the, you know, the more ob- options the law is going to give you if you do get in trouble. And unfortunately, I see it every day, in and out of my office, every day I see it going on. Well, uh, Marie, I just uh, read a story from the Arizona Republic uh, uh, quoting Sheriff Joe Arpaio saying it couldn't happen in Maricopa County. Yeah, well, I mean, our our county here, I do take pride in, you know, it's being a little bit stricter on certain things. Um, however, I, I mean, I have to state the facts. I have several people, several inmates that come in and out of my office who either have done crime all of their lives, who have paid the price by going to jail, and then I have other ones who have inner offenses, just, um, you know, and they are wealthier couples or wealthier people who get in trouble, and they buy their time. They just buy. Outrageous. It is, and I unfortunately fight this battle every day. I joined the criminal justice system so I could make a difference, but... Unfortunately, it's more than just a one woman or one man job. Well, uh, here's the deal. Uh, people talk about Paris Hilton being so insignificant, and generally I agree with that. But this story has value because this will call attention to the problems that you deal with every day. Because most of the people you deal with are nameless, faceless people. They may have money, but they're not people we know in most cases. Here's somebody everybody knows. Very true. And I really hope it does make a difference. I hope it, you know, this will force Americans all over the country to just get out there and vote for the proper officials to run, you know, run their counties, run their cities. Um, that promise that they won't let, you know, money be an, be an obligation as far as who gets to serve time and who doesn't. I agree with you, Marie. Thank you. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Uh, let me get Frank in here on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing okay, Frank. No, so it's a good topic. You know, it's good that we're talking about how our judicial system failed with Paris. But let's talk about something more, a little more important. 
Let's talk about the Ducks winning the Cup. Well, the, the, the Anaheim Ducks deserve all congratulations. They were the best team in the National Hockey League this year. Uh, and uh, they worked hard to win that Stanley Cup. Um, I'm a Kings fan. Too. Uh, yeah, I'm a Kings fan, but I, nobody's happier than I am that the Ducks won that cup, if only because it serves notice to the Kings that if they want to hold on to their fans, uh, they have to stop paying lip service and they start have to they have to start producing a winning team. They have to do it. You got to give them it gives a little fire under their butts to build a team that uh, can compete. No doubt about it. I, I am so proud of the fans in Anaheim for showing up finally this year after the first 20 games when it appeared nobody knew what was going on over there. That's uh, not necessarily true. Oh, come on. They didn't start selling out till later in the season. And, uh, I mean, I'm glad people caught up with what was going on. Yeah. But it took people a while to figure it out, as you know. Right. I um, mean, hey. I've been a fan since 93, and I'm a transplant from back east from Toronto. So. Did you go to all 41 home games this year? Probably not. No, unfortunately not, because I live in you know Redmond, so it's a long commute off the night. All right, but the point the point is there 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 were there were empty seats uh, for the first fifteen or twenty games this season, and uh, you know before the season started, the Anaheim Ducks it was pretty obvious how good they were. Right, right, right. But nobody was paying any attention for a while, and then finally when they caught on, they they I mean look that place was as loud as uh, any arena I've heard in the National Hockey League. I'm thrilled. It's great for hockey in Southern California. It's great for hockey on the West Coast. And it's a nice big F you to the establishment in hockey that thinks that uh, the, the sun rises and sets by Montreal and Toronto and oh, New York and all that I nonsense. I am so sick of that Canadian media. Give me yeah. a break. Yeah, yeah. Telling us that we don't know how to celebrate, we don't know how to cheer, that we're more interested in Paris Hilton, but they got a point. Uh, we are, I guess. Look at us talking about her. But at the same time, they have another point. They already had weeks marked off for parades up there where they closed the city downtown. And down here, we're only giving them a two-hour little backyard uh, tailgate thing on Saturday night. Well, in reality, in reality, where would the Anaheim Ducks hold a parade? I mean, let's be realistic. Uh, the Anaheim Ducks are like the New Jersey Devils of the West Coast. Uh, they are located at what is essentially a freeway exit. That's true. And they're not located in a downtown, near a downtown. Where are they going to march down Harbor Boulevard? I mean, come on. Yeah, you you got a point. You know, I'm a I'm, look. I'm a big fan, and I was rooting for the Ducks, and I'm thrilled they won. I'm not trying to be a smartass here. I'm just saying. I, you got where a point. do you Where do you have a parade? <laughs> I mean, I just wish we had more exposure. I wish that there were some diehard that you know appreciated the sport. Well, unfortunately, uh, you know what? The TV ratings uh, on NBC for the Ducks were better in cities like Minneapolis and Denver than they were in Anaheim. Yeah, that was kind of Bettman's fault, though, because he no. shows out versus faces. No, because... no, I'm talking about NBC, pal. Oh, okay. I got talking you. about NBC. There were four cities that had higher ratings for the NHL playoffs than Anaheim. Yeah, well. I don't know what to say about that, but I just hope the hockey continues to do well, and I hope the Kings build their team up, and and that there's more aggression, and that you know that's what the sport's all about. No doubt about it, and they're going to start their season. The Ducks are going to start their season as Stanley Cup champions in London, England, in September, playing the Los Angeles Kings at the O2 Arena, and we're going to be there for that. And we'll talk some more about that this summer. But Frank, thank you. Uh, so many of these here, Jeff. The calls are just crazy. Uh, Jeff, hello. Hi, Tom. Thanks Hi. for having me on. Sure. I called Lee Baca's office, and I actually got through. I spoke with a sheriff. His name was Steve Sayaka, and he referred me to a guy named Tom Lang, who's also a representative of the sheriff's department. He provided me a fax number and an address to voice concerns to, and I wanted to provide it to your listeners. Go ahead. All right. The fax number is 323-267-6662. The address he provided for us to express our concerns is 7400 Ramona Boulevard, Monterey Park, 91754. I appreciate you providing us his uh, email address. I'm planning on sending information to that as well. Excellent. That's ldbaca at lasd.org, ldbaca at lasd.org. Or call Lee Baca's office. There's still about eight minutes left before the end of the business day. 323-526-5000. That's 323-526-5000. The Tom Likas Show.